Alright yo, what's going on producers? It's your boy Q, back again with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can sound exactly like Yeet in his new song, Can't Change, off his new album, Up To Me. This album has just been going crazy, so you're definitely gonna see some more beat videos and some more vocal videos on that. But we're gonna be starting out with a cool one right here, Can't Change, one of my favorite, actually it is my favorite track on the album. And if you wanna sound like what Yeet sounds like in that track, I'll tell you right now, this is probably the most accurate preset you'll be able to find. But anyways, if you guys are new here, go down and hit that subscribe button, and right after that, there's gonna be a bell button. If you click that, you're gonna be notified every single time I upload Load, which is great because you'll be able to catch every episode of Cutember, which is just a little challenge I did for myself where I'm doing 30 videos in 30 days. We're uploading every single day. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Yeah, before we get started, before I break down how I actually made this preset and everything, if you do want to cop it, preset is available at quintababa.com. Yeah, enough talking. Let's jump in FL Studio and I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, so if you guys do end up grabbing this preset, this is what you're going to download. Four files. They're FSTs, which are basically just mixer track presets for FL Studio. And all these plugins are stock. Basically, what you're going to do is grab the files that you downloaded either in your download folder or wherever you decide to put them but basically what you do is just drag whichever one you want onto an open mixer track and it'll pull up everything the only thing you're going to have to do is change this auto tune pro to whatever auto tune you actually prefer to use fl studio does have its own so if you just go to replace more plugins and you type in pitcher just use this right here and that's basically auto tune but just a stock version and like i said you get four tracks you get your lead your ad lib track and then two different double tracks and before i break down anything else let me just show you guys how this sounds i can't change So yeah, I mean, I think this preset turned out very accurate. And I think the key here is like, this is my favorite song. So I was able to do this pretty well just because I like the song. And I mean, I'm literally, I'm not very talented vocally, but the way I mix this, it's pretty easy to sound like how Yeet sounded like this. And I'm also literally using a hundred dollar mic. This is like the Audio Technica ATH. I forget what it's called, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I got it for like a hundred bucks. But yeah, let me just uh, kind of explain what I did. So here is the lead track and, uh, if we just take this off of Mixer Track 10, where the lead track actually is, uh, you're going to hear something that sounds pretty terrible. I can't change what I said, what I did. So yeah, that compared to... I can't change what I said, what I did. Obviously, there's a big difference there. And the key part of this track was adding a bunch of like these ad lib tracks and just filling out like everything you possibly could. So, I mean, these are kind of like ad libs, so we brought this to the ad lib track. And the difference here is it's just, it sits a little bit more in the background. And then we also have like some doubles, like this is a double right here. I think this is a double as well. And then when you play those together, it just fills it out a lot more. I can't change what I said, what I did. Huh? Huh? I feel like I'm running circles around this bitch. And when I wake up, I speak call my phone, just like one of my bitches. Yeah, so the reason for so many like different takes is just because there's, if you do two different takes, and you try to sound the exact same, there's always just going to be different tones in those, and it ends up making your vocal sound a lot more full. I can't change what I said, what I did. I feel like I'm running circles around this bitch, and when I... Oh yeah, and one more super funny thing is, so I brought this to the double track, the second double track, which is just a bit quieter. I think there's some more reverb on there too. But listen to this. If we take this off of the track... Ooh, ah. Yeah, so I mean, that's that's... Sounds pretty terrible until you bring it back to uh, a double track. It sounds a lot better. So you guys, that's pretty much the entire video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed this preset. I think this is by far my best preset yet. I actually just recently figured out a bunch of stuff for OBS, so I'm able to record live now, which is huge. I got the latency down to literally like three milliseconds, and that's with plugins. That's huge. You guys, you guys are going to be seeing a lot more vocal tutorials. If you enjoy those, get ready for that. Like I said, this preset is available at quintababa.com. I have the link in the description and the pinned comment. If you guys want to cop that, go ahead and do that. Definitely help support the channel. That's all I got for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Doses. I can't change what I said, what I